So I'm not going to eat the whole slice, honestly. Hey guys, right, welcome back to Tutorial Tuesdays. We've rinsed it again today. We're going to be doing a strawberry edge, which is in our book. It's got a double chocolate biscuit base, it's got a vanilla and raspberry filling, and it's edged with these beautiful strawberries topped with a bit of fruit, a bit of homemade raspberry coulis, and that's it. Another really, really simple recipe, but it's going to bang. So first up, I'm going to start with our base. We've got 400 grams of double chocolate biscuit, just ground up in a food processor. Add in 60 grams of salted butter. Give it a good mix. I say it every time, but you need to make sure the biscuit is fully coated with the butter. That's gonna really ensure that it holds together and doesn't go crumbly. For the tin, I'm gonna use an eight inch spring form tin. You can get this um, from Lakeland. We use it from Lakeland. Whack the biscuit base in. Give it a level of. If you haven't got one of these, it's a meat stamper. You can use a glass tumbler. Make sure it's a sturdy glass tumbler so it doesn't smash. And just work your way around slowly. Once that's nice and firm, use the spoon. Turn on its side. Just neaten up that edge. Right, now you need to whack that in the freezer for about 15 minutes to set. So for the filling, we're gonna keep it simple again. A lovely vanilla cheesecake filling. It's a classic combination. We are gonna layer the edge of the tin with these strawberries that look really, really pretty. So for the filling, I'm gonna use one kilo of cream cheese. Hundred and seventy-eight grams of caster sugar. 129 mils of double cream and 30 mils of vanilla essence. I'm gonna whack that on the mixer now. So we're actually gonna just change up a little bit. I thought we're gonna run a bit of coolie through the cheesecake mix to give it a little edge. In the bowl, I've, I've basically put 300 grams of fresh raspberries and 40 grams of caster sugar and just blitzed it down until it's a nice running consistency. And to that, I'm literally gonna drizzle over about half the mix. Put that to one side. And I'm just going to half mix this through the cheesecake. Right, so for the strawberry edge. I've got my strawberries. I'm going to line the edge. Just chop the green bit off. Ideally all the strawberries need to be the same sort of level. And that sort of fill that height of the tin. And all you're going to do is chop them in half. And so the inside of the strawberry is going to face outwards. The moisture of the strawberry will stick to the side of the tin. Make sure they're tight up against each other. So to fill this properly, you've got all these little gaps that we want to fill properly. You don't want any gaps or cracks. So, using a spatula, just do it in little portions and really push, make a point of pushing it into these gaps. Turn it and just pull it towards you almost. Now we're just going to pallet it off, pull out from the centre. This is just to ensure there's no gaps in the mix. Once you've done that, just take the corners off, turn it. Now whack that in the fridge, cold fridge, for about four hours to set before we decorate it. Right guys, I've had my cheesecake in the fridge for four hours now. 
going to put it on top of a mug. This is the best way to get it off. Open the tin. You just slowly bring it down. You want to push the tin to one side and then just lift it off gently. Once it's a bit loose, if you've got a bit of excess cheesecake mix, you just want to put it on your stand or your base or your board just to hold it down so it doesn't slide all over the place. For the topping, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. We've got that leftover raspberry coulis that we made earlier. We're just going to drizzle it. And then we're just going to top it with some lovely fresh berries. You can leave some of the greens on the strawberries, I think they add a little bit of colour to it. Well, this is optional, you don't have to use this. I've got some freeze dried raspberries which are available online. They just give it a nice little texture. You can keep this basic, you don't even have to decorate this cake if you, if you want, you can keep it nice and simple on top. And I've got these little edible flowers. Again, you can get them online. A little bit of lime zest. That is it. That's all it needs. A strawberry edge with a vanilla and raspberry filling that's absolutely going to boot and taste amazing. Right guys, it's time to cut into the cake and see what we've got. I'm just going to go in between the strawberries. The strawberries actually portion it up quite nicely. And that right there is a winner. Mm. Mate, again, so good. Just trust me when I say that is a Go Check it out. Again, really, really easy to make, really simple. Looks beautiful, tastes great. Subscribe, comment below, let us know your thoughts, and I'd love to see your creations. Tag us on Instagram as well, it's at Please Cakes. Any questions in the comments below, big up. Do you know what makes that really good? It's the lime zest. Mm. No, just give me a minute. Oh yeah, I forgot the strawberries around the end as well. 